Hi everybody. We're just in time for the national anthem. So everybody please rise <laughs> while Brad Paisley sings the, the national anthem for the World Series. Um, so hi everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. It's kitchen cooking with Jen and Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of cooking. It is. I mean it's all ingredients you can cook with. Yeah. So I just want to make a yes, we can see comments tonight. Yay. Um, and we're gonna fix our lighting a little bit. Okay. With my remote control. Hey Domena. So we're going to make some bath bombs tonight. And uh, we we tried it earlier. <laughs> and it was funny. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a hot mess in the first one. Then. Hot mess express. <laughs> so it's legit just a couple of ingredients. So we have citric acid, um, baking soda, uh, witch hazel. Yep. Right? Yep. And we have this... Um, natural food coloring. Natural food coloring, like... Uh, food, what is it called? Food-based? Yeah. Like food-based food coloring? Not it's like... made out of like turmeric and like... I can't Beats say it. And stuff. Spirulina. 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 Hi, Sherry Wu. Um, oh, I want to do one thing before we get started and shut that off. Okay. Oops. Hold on, everybody. Everybody just get car sick real quick. I was like this. <laughs> Hi, Kathy Bird. Hi. Okay, so we're going to make these. And we did it earlier. And my son is obsessed with bath bombs. So we go to... Um, lush to get our bath bombs and they can range up to eight ninety five a piece mm -hmm. for like the cool ones. You they're know? awesome. They're so good and they're all natural and vegan and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But the basic one is like four ninety five. Yep. And then you get like this size is eight ninety five. Yeah, like the regular size is four ninety five. Yeah, that's like a four ninety five or oh and then they get bigger. Yeah. Okay. And then they have like cool ones. You know, like our Halloween one? Yeah. It was like eight ninety five shape one. Yeah, but it's all the same ingredients, which is so crazy. So we're going to make bath bombs so that you can gift them for the holidays and save so much money. I mean, how much was the citric acid? This was like five bucks. Five bucks. That's a this buck. This is like a dollar. Um, Would you buy the molds? This was like eight bucks, but they're forever. Yeah. And that was like... Maybe seven or eight bucks. Yep, and then it's all natural. We put our favorite essential oils in there so that it smells amazing. So oh we my God, it did. It was so good. <laughs> so we let Declan pick his smells, and we did orange, breathe, and lavender. Mm -hmm. And when he put just like a little half of one in there, the smell was like so amazing. Can I get you a spoon for your Italian ice, husband? <laughs> let me get Snack that time. for you. <laughs> And so, and what's cool is the, the food-based color dyes don't stain the tub, which is amazing. Or your kid. Or your child, which is important because you don't want to put anything in your kid's tub, right? Um, any oils you should avoid with kids? Um, no, I mean, you don't want to put, like, you just tell them not to drink the bath water, I guess yeah. that would be it. Yeah. But um, the oils are all safe. They're all safe for kids. They're all safe for all ages. I mean... If you're worried about inge them ingesting, then go with the oils that are safe to ingest. Mm -hmm. Lavender can be ingested. Wild orange can be ingested. So if yeah. you go with those, then yeah. It's all and bad. so the way that you know if something can be oh look at that we have two of the different kinds. Yeah. Um. So the way that you know is like see this one is called citrus bliss and or wild orange. And it actually has like supplement facts on it. Where the citrus bliss doesn't. Yeah. And then this is like serenity, which is like a blend. And it doesn't have any nutritional facts on it. So anything that has like supplemental facts on it, you can ingest. Anything that doesn't, you can't. Right. Um, and so the thing about the bath bombs is you have to kind of work fast. Mm -hmm. Because once you get your mixture together, it hardens in the molds, you know. And if you don't get it in the mold fast enough, then you end up with a bowl full of hard stuff. So then you just drop a whole bowl in the tub and then a <laughs> giant bath bomb. It's like bomb. a big volcano. <laughs> so yes, we need three bowls or two you bowls. Do two or three? Yeah, we're going to do two. I'm going to do red because it's my favorite color. Um, our wee sister, she is my sister-in-law. But yes, we're sisters. sisters. Why don't you do blue? I feel like it'll show up more yeah, in a video. Yeah, yellow. Okay. So she's going to do blue. I'm going to do red. Um, and we're going to make one mixture and then split it into two. Yeah. Okay. And so the recipe goes, 
what? It was two, was it two? Two of these, I two think. Two cups of, so it's two cups of baking soda, and then one cup, oh, we have some open too. Yep. And we have some there. Two cups of baking soda, and then one cup of citric acid. Okay, so here's one of baking soda. And this is the food grade citric acid. So this is all safe, like if they did happen to swallow, again, the tub water, it's safe. This is yeah, like grade. you can actually like cook with that. Cook with it. I don't know, we were wondering. I know, maybe someone can tell us. So we'll post the recipe in the comments below when we're done. Um, yeah, like oh. you could do a peppermint bath bomb that's red for Christmas, mm -hmm. you know? So. A peppermint and um, yeah. So we just have a plastic bowl. We put two cups of baking soda. We're gonna do one cup of citric acid. I feel like this bag's gonna collapse in my hand. I feel like it is too. That's why I was trying to help you out and hold that. Well, let me do two. Plus, hands. you shake. Do. Okay, good. Okay, then you just want to take like a fork and mix it together because you want to get like all the clumps out. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you might use citric acid for cheese making. It actually says on the back of the bag, you use it for um, canning, drying, freezing, bread making, jarring, and preserved vitamin C content of food. So I should have used that when I made my yeah. amazing pickles. Now you have some. They were amazing. Kayla and I are gonna make, she wanted my recipe, I'm like, yeah. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> That's why you can't have it. <laughs> you have to like make a brine to yeah. do the pickles, and I just love vinegar. So Very I good. looked up brine and I put like five times the amount of vinegar in it. It's good. Okay, so you just want to mix this all together. It's just powder. Get all kind of the clumps out of it. Now you want to split it. Split it in two. And you don't have to split it in two. We're splitting it in two because we each want to do a different color. Okay, so we're going to put half in another bowl and half in another bowl. I'm going to give you more. Thanks. Because you're the guest. She plays nice. I think so. That's about even, yeah? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we literally just have like... That's a lot. So it's going to make a lot. Kitchen bowls. We're going to have a lot. Yeah. And then you want to put your fa you want to put your color in, right? Yep. Do you want to dump the whole thing just dump the whole I'm gonna thing I'm going to dump in? the whole yeah. thing. All right. So we're just dumping... We used the packet earlier, but what we have left over, we're just dumping the whole thing in. Yeah. And so it literally is like that. And then we're going to mix it. You want a fork? No, I mean, you got, uh, You actually really have to get it with your hands. All right. I'm yeah. going to put my jewelry in and there. And then... So I would add the oils now. With the color? Yeah. Yep, because that witch hazel is what like like activates and makes it foam. Um, so I'm gonna do the orange one. You do the I'm gonna do both sleepy time one. one. Oh, we're gonna make separate. Not mix. We can even mix if we want. I don't want to mix with you. You want to mix everything. I don't want to mix. Like mixing. <laughs> Six, How many drops? Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. So I did ten of citrus bliss, and I'll show you guys. Sorry, I know everybody likes to really see this. Um, so we'll do 10 drops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of wild orange. I'm just doing 10 of lavender and I did, well, Serenity has lavender in it, but I'm going to do 10 of each Well, Citrus Bliss out. probably has orange in it yeah, too, right? Yeah, but it's still, it's a nice, it's got other, it's a blend. Yeah. So it's got other, I will use this for now. So I'm just going to, we're, then so. you're just going to mix it in. So you're still, you're still dealing with powder. Yep. And you're just kind of mixing that color in. And the color kind of disappears, but when you put the witch hazel in, to get everything kind of activated and moving. It brightens it right uh, up. It brightens it back up. You know what, we might need a, a bigger bowl to, once the witch hazel goes in, or? You think so? Yeah, maybe okay. because this is a lot of powder. All right. Because we had three last time. So can I get, uh, can I get a witness? Uh, that's just... definitely not bigger, so go underneath there. And. Oh, these are good. Yeah. Well, well I can use this. Okay, yeah, and I'll use this one. I'll use this and okay. use that. Okay. So you want to get enough room to like get your hands in and mix it? Because once you add the witch hazel, you really want to get in there and start mixing it so it doesn't... Um, it kind of like grows. So it like, it slightly activates everything yeah. and it kind of like grows. And then it, that's like... Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's all science. Yeah. I don't We're know We're scientists. Yes. Did you not know? Mad. So. so if you know anybody who likes to do like DIY, this is actually really something fun to do too. And it's easy, um, right? And like my niece who's a, almost a, 11. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um... Loves to make like slime, you know the slime stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is like another fun thing if you're already like stocked up on slime because I know slime is like the thing right yes. now, and maybe we can do that some other time too. Um, so feel free to share this video. If you need essential oils to add to your bath bombs, you can check these out um, on Jen's VIP group. She's got a group that's informational all about essential oils. It's called it's VIP dot go see Jen dot com. <laughs> go see Jen with one N. Yep. Um, and so just to catch everybody up because there's lots of questions. Okay. We use citric acid. Uh, everything was purchased on Amazon. 
and we'll put the links. So citric acid, witch hazel, witch hazel. Um, baking soda, nice. and a food-based dye. So instead of using like the squeezy, yeah, like, don't use those. Those aren't like safe for your body. Nope. You know, you, anything you put in here, you want to, it wants to be digestible, I would just say. Yeah. yeah. Because like if your kid swallows the, the bath water, you want to make sure that you're like as safe as possible. And then the molds. I got those from Amazon too. These are also from Amazon. And they come in like a, a cute set. You get one, two, three, four, five. Cute yep. little set. They come in and a box And they come like in that. three sizes. Yeah, three right. sizes. So let's show them the sizes. Okay. So there's small, and there are two pieces that go on top. There's small, medium, and large. They're like little UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, right. and then we're using doTERRA oils tonight. Um, Jen is doing like a sleepy bath bomb. So she has serenity and lavender, and I'm doing kind of like a refresh. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. The, actually, these are my favorite oils because they're the oils of abundance. Yep. Um, so orange. wild orange and citrus bliss. Okay, I'm a little nervous that we're going to mess this up again. No, because so earlier we, so the trick is, is you want a spray bottle to slowly spray the witch hazel in because it's like she said, it like activates the whole mixture. So you're going to see it's going to be totally different. Okay. Should, I feel first? like we should do one at a time. Yeah, we will. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so what we did last time is we like took Pour. a bottle and poured little, 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 and it was way too much, and it, it activates too quickly, and when it does that, you can't control it. It's like, it's like a volcano. Okay, like, yeah, because then we want to be able to pack them together as yes. fast as we can. So I'm going to tilt this down for one sec. Okay. That should do it. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Okay. You can hold it in there. Come back here. Okay. Yep. Here we go. You ready? Yep, so like I did like 12, 15 squirts when I did it before, so you're gonna need at least that. One. So as she's doing it, three, you know, you can four, do it, see how five, it kind of turns into like a six, seven, play sand. Eight, nine, 12. You're gonna need more because it's know, like a sorry. double. That's okay. I'm, it's because I was. All right, ready? Yep. Here it comes. Coming in hot, Jen. Okay. Okay, well, that's good for now. Hold on one second. So you wanna just mix it until, see how it kind of, if anyone's ever played with moon sand, that's what it reminds me of is like moon sand. Yeah. And see how it's so, see how it's able to like get harder. See how it's not so powdery anymore. It's like almost packable. So you want to spray just like a little bit. See this little powder in there. So you want to spray a little more. Kind of get it all wet enough that it's going to pack in a, in a mold. And it smells so good yeah, already. Yeah, it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like two, three squirts more. Okay. You get it on your hands too. So maybe flip your hand over. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. See how it's like packing now? No more powder as compared to that one. But if you put like too much in there, it gets too hard too fast and you can't move fast enough to get it into the mold. So, so. see how this is different from earlier? It's not even growing. Yep. So earlier it was just fuzzing up because we didn't spray it. That's the key is spraying so, it. Do you know why witch hazel or no? Just because um, that I, was in our recipe that yeah, we Yeah, it's on the doTERRA website and I'm not sure. I think it just activates the citric acid and the baking soda. So um, not really sure. This actually maybe even, give me like maybe like one more squirt. And I think this one's good. All right, move your hand. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Good? Yeah. So now if you spray this one. Well, well let's, I feel like. You don't like, want to mix? I want, no, <laughs> stop trying. I want blue and red. Okay, separate. Golly. Okay, so now that we got it where we want, we're going to come back up. We're going to mix it. <laughs> Jen wants to mix all the things. I want it, I like mix. It's like Play-Doh. Remember, play, you know, Play-Doh? Yeah, and I hate when the colors mix. I get that. I totally oh, you're, hear that. You're like the person who probably lets like, a corn mix into the mashed potatoes. No, that I don't. Mm. That I don't. Okay, so we're going to take each half of a... We're going yep. to do another color after this so you can watch how this For sure. Um, someone said witch hazel isn't edible. Yeah, but we're not eating the bath no, bombs. No, it's not. And it's like... But it's like safe. Like, yeah. It's like an antiseptic. It's like a, Rubbing a toner for your face. You can yeah. use it in there uh, for your makeup too. Like in, in a tub, it's going to... Yeah. So corn and mashed potatoes is the bomb. So we're going to take Shepherd's our pie. molds yep. and we're going to pack it in. So you wanted the key is too to make sure you pack it in tight. See how different it is? It's yeah. already hardening, hardening up too. So the key is to pack it in tight. Like you're building a sandcastle because when you pop them out, um, they want you want them to stick together. Yes. You want it to stick together. So there's one. Let's we're gonna that one. squeeze it together. And I'm gonna keep going. And we're gonna hold it together for like a minute. Yep, that's it. Like and then minute. we're gonna pop them out. It's already. But you don't wanna like leave them too long either. No, and but here's I definitely suggest the metal 
um, bath molds because I did these with plastic and they once they harden in the plastic I couldn't get them out. Well, because you got to kind of give them a bang. And plastic and if you bang isn't plastic, like... it'll probably break. Hi, Lisa. Um, so if you're just tuning in, we're making some bath bombs uh, with our fun little molds here. You can probably make little ones now. Yeah, I'll do a couple I'll hold these. Too. I think I'm gonna get like so. This is one batch. Well, no, actually, this is half a batch. Yeah. Making four ish. Yeah. So we'll make two medium, two big. Um, and you can also just do a half a one too. Like if they're, especially if they're for kids, like you could do like a half. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, but you don't want to put them in the freezer in the molds. You want to get them out of the molds right. and then put them in the freezer. I made that mistake my first time making these and they didn't come out of the molds. So now I know this time around. Okay. So there's that. I'm running out of here. So there's so three. Well. No, that's good. And then. Well, what about a little mini one? No. I don't know if it'll fit. Half I mean, the mini yeah, one? yeah, actually it'll fit a half anyway. Let me get all. Waste I mean, on. you got to use it all up. Waste not one up. Then we'll do one more batch so that you guys can see it. So, Dee Dee, we made five of these. We made five halves. That's fun. And Declan used them all in the tub. <laughs> so we're going to have to like hide these from him. Jen, have you ever made sugar hand scrubs with your essential oils? They're awesome for Christmas. I made those last year. I'm going to, yeah, because it's really literally just like sugar and oils yeah like and um brown coconut sugar. oil oh yeah and coconut oil yeah all right so should i open one of these um yeah you sure yeah see if it's wow that was spot on check that out look at wow look oh my god Declan's gonna be so excited look at our bath bombs Ta -da. <laughs> so good isn't that cool and there i would say i should have, have to cure oh, okay so that's why we're gonna put them on the sheet to let them cure okay. like basically cure overnight Oops. yeah it's coming apart a little okay so I'm gonna put it back and squeeze it a little okay, harder. I'll do mine too because mine's a little separate. I'm still the top one. I'm sorry. Here you go. We're gonna you just squeeze it. What scent to the bomb? So um, we did These a ones sleepy are lavender, bomb. Yeah. So this is lavender and serenity from Doterra. Doterra, and then we're gonna do a refresher one, which is citrus bliss and wild orange. My six-year-old would love to make these with prizes inside. We were talking about that glitter, mm -hmm. body safe glitter, make it body safe. Mm -hmm. um, and like little, you know, make sure your kid doesn't, if they're old enough not to put toys in their mouth because it's going to end up in their tubby. But like little fun prizes inside. You could do them in like little clear eggies. Yeah. You know? Yep. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Ah, what? nailed it. That's perfect. So you guys can get different molds and shapes too. These There's are like, so good. Aren't they awesome? Way better than our first batch. Yeah. This because of the, it's the spray bottle that makes the and difference. And also just don't get frustrated if you mess up your first batch. Yeah, this is like my third time doing it. Okay. Good? Yep. All right. We could use this one and show them after how well it fizzes. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Now it's now my turn do... to mix and right. I'm a little nervous. Are you going to eat your hands in? Because I'm going to wash mine. I made the diaper rash cream you made and it worked like a charm. Yay. So excited. Awesome. Peppermint, wild orange, lavender, and serenity. Perfect. Another one like rosemary and lime because rosemary is really refreshing lime. Mm. Like, you can go like mix as many as you want. People's taste, you know. Go we're going to put all of the links um, in the comments when we're done so that you can go shop. Um, and I think, I think like our, if we were to count like our whole order, including the oils, cause like citrus oils are pretty affordable. Um, it's like limes and oranges bucks. and lemons. Ish. Yeah. So I would say like we will be able to make Lavender's like 20. Yes, it is gyno safe for tubbies. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Jacqueline, we can't. Um, so we'll make one, two, three, four. Five. So we'll make like six to eight bath bombs for, yeah, they'll be like two bucks a piece. Yeah, but if you, if you figure out all the ingredients and you, we kept going and making. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we could make way more because we well, still like have 20. Yeah, or even more. more. I mean, you'd need a couple more boxes yeah. of this, but we still have cups of this, yep. you know? So we could probably make, yeah, probably like two dozen. Two dozen. For like $30. Yep. Yeah. Which That's a lot of gifts. Yeah, because if I was to spend $30, 4 8 12 16 I'd get six of them. So, and um, they're fun to make, too. Anything in bath, you'd always want to rinse in the shower anyway. That's what I always do when I take yeah. bath. Okay. So, Jen, so we have red. We're going to do red now. Jen's going to spray the witch hazel, and I'm going to... You're going to love the feeling of it. Oh, God. I don't feel like I'm going to. You will. It's like playing in the sand at the beach. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going to mess it up, though. No, you won't. Okay. So don't he, spray too fast. I won't. Well, I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. But see how it feels like it's now it's starting to feel like sand, like wet mm. sand at the beach. Yeah. You want it to feel like wet sand. You want it to feel like wet sand at the beach. Okay, keep going. Oh my God, this one smells really good. <laughs> I think oh my wild God. orange is my favorite. It's mine oil. too. I put it in everything. 
I put that ish on everything. In my water. Okay, like two more. Good job. Thanks, Jennifer. Fantastic. And Jennifer Harris Yeats. Killing her sound. I just love her. The one and only. How's it feel? I don't know. Yeah, it looks good. Does it feel packable? Or one of this one more? Just do one more. It smells amazing. It smells right? so good. How weird is it that it's red and we're gonna do citrusy an orange smell though? You know? Do mm -hmm. one more. Okay, good. So what could you get orange? Like red and yellow maybe? Actually they tell you on the box. Yeah, red and yellow make orange Jen. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's I never start passed packing. crayon school. <laughs> okay. Alright. You want me to help pack? Yeah. Cause I, what if I don't move too fast? What if I don't move fast? I feel like you need to like overpack one side so that you get yeah, a better so it connection. Yeah, so up for the other. How's yeah. that for that side? Good. Like and then pack. and then smush them and then like rub them together. It's like building a. Isn't it like building a sandcastle? Do you want to build a bath bomb? Do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got it in our little moldy. I'm gonna let that kind of set for a second. I'm gonna make a little one. Where's the other side of the little? Mm. Oh, it's a, with oh. the blue in it. Mix it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Yay! That doesn't have a lot on that side, so I'll take it over past yeah. the side. You're gonna love this color, and this is one that Declan likes. It's gonna be two colors. Okay, fine. Do the colors? Do these color the tub water? They do. Yeah. But you have to put enough in. And so we put like just a little sprinkle of the color in our last batch, and it didn't do the color in the tub enough that like my son would have enjoyed more color. So I would definitely uh, overuse the, the food dye oh, to get it. Um, so that you actually get that like color, you know? Um, and we'll we'll open one of these. We need to squeeze a little bit more. Yeah, we need just a tad bit more to make this That's work. That's all we got. Might not work. Oh, oh it already came out. <laughs> Ta-da! That's perfect. So they don't take long in the molds either to like harden up and then um, and then these bad boys just slide off super easy. I have a feeling this one's gonna crack because it didn't have enough like to pack in That's the middle. Right. We'll have half as well. Oh, it actually worked out okay. Nobody said we were perfect, you guys. Oh, there we go. We it should worked. make one for Declan and put a small toy. Yeah, that's what we would definitely do next one. So, Hope, we d I'm going to go over the ingredients one more time, but we did. We put essential oils in there. So, I'm going to open this up. ta -da! Oh, Yes! Perfection. Look at that bath bomb. That's Babe, Sean, peek your head up. Take a, take a peek. Look at that bath bomb. It's a nice It's a great <laughs> sphere. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. Fear. Handsome it's devil. Fun word to say. Uh, that one. Should we spray a, like a maybe blue? Maybe that's a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Only what you do. Yeah. Um, how big is the baby bump now? The baby bump is here. Literally showed up like today. It's adorable. I literally didn't feel pregnant yesterday. And today I'm like, what is this? These fizz in the tub when you put them in. So we're going to show you how it works with our little mini one that we mm -hmm. made. Which I'm kind of sad that we're going to use the mini one. I know. But that's okay. Do you want to use this one? This one's a lame, lame. No, that's okay. After it's in the freezer, it'll probably be good. No, don't freeze them, right? Are we going to freeze them? Yeah, yeah, you, you can freeze, freeze them, them for a little while and like, like, let them cure. Yeah, you can. Okay, so here's what we made. You need a bigger, probably. That's good. Yeah, here's what we made. So here's our bath bombs. So we can make like a whole nother batch or you could double the recipe. Um, but so far, so the recipe is, it's basically one part citric acid, two parts baking soda. baking soda. So we did one cup citric acid, and this is like edible citric acid that yep. you use in like canning and stuff. Uh, two cups of baking soda. We did a spray bottle with witch hazel in it to kind of help get it to that moon sand type feel. Mm -hmm. uh, essential oils. We used a couple blends, um, and we did like a sleepy, sleepy bomb and like a refresher bomb. Um, all the oils, if you're interested in the essential oils, you can get them from Jen at her website, which is gosegen.com. And then we did um, like cupcake colors from natural sources. So like beets, turmeric, things like that. And then molds from Amazon. Everything's from Amazon. Yep. Except for the doTERRA oils. Right. Okay, so we're going to open up this bath bomb. See, this had the blue in it for a while. Oh. It didn't stick. That's okay. Oh, that's, 
That's okay. This looks Here. like one of those candies. You want to do that one or that one? We'll do the little one. It does, like those not Yeah, because this is hard. Yeah. yeah. Non-Pirel? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Is that what they call I think so. Something like, like that. Wafers. Like your Nana always had them? Like wafers. Yeah, and they were like melty. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. With the little like white balls on top. Yep. I get my oils from this lady. I have quite the oh, stash. Wow. I can show you guys my stash if you want. Um... Okay, so here is like just a little piece of a bath bun that we made. So we'll put it in the water so that you can watch it. Okay. This is fun. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Right. Hold on. Sorry. I'm going to move all this up. All right. Way. So here we go. I want to see if you can see it. Hold on. Let, let me just move my phone. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoop. Okay, ready, guys? Here. One, two, three. Look how blue it is. Look at all the fuzzies. Oh my God, that one really fizzled. Here it comes. That was great. It smells so good. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. And then you can see that the water's blue. Love it. My son loves to like pick it up, move it around. Oh, that's gone because that was like concaved. And I think it yeah. works even better and warmer. Like the, oh my God, look at the warm. blue. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, lots of blue on that one. Um, isn't that so cool? So that's our bath bomb recipe. Feel free to share. And um, we'll go over the recipe right now. Love that you can actually hear the fizz. Okay, so we'll, heart. we'll put the Amazon. I'll have, well, Jen will because I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jen will put the links for everything to purchase. You can basically just copy your order. Yeah, on Amazon and put it in there. Yep. Um, so citric acid and baking soda, two parts, one part, right? Yep. So we did one cup, two cups. Um, witch hazel in a spray bottle. Yeah. Very important. It yeah. has to be in a spray <laughs> bottle because if you try to pour, it will activate in the mixture that you're trying to do and... It like overflows. It fuzzes. A, like you could use that for a science project. Yes like a volcano yeah. yeah that would totally work that'd be like legit lava too because mm -hmm. it's like chunkier we could make it smell like terror shield my kid's gonna definitely win yeah for sure um what else food coloring like um all natural so like plant-based um and then the molds so all that's from amazon yep then we have so we use essential oils you can use pretty much any essential oils as long as you're not going to be actually like drinking the bath water, which would probably be pretty gross anyways. Um, tonight we used Serenity and Lavender in the blue, in the blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You it was guys. good. Um, Time is and we used Citrus Bliss and Wild Orange in the pink ones. Um, so make your own, any flavors you want. Any flavors make you want. any flavor oil. And then you those. smell good. So we did a batch of these for my son, and he used all five of them. Once he saw them, he wanted them. Like a hair second, there it is. Um, yeah, and he like loves to like play them and break them up, and it was really fun. She said, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that. We're going to set these in the freezer probably for 15 minutes, mm -hmm. and then they're going to harden up even more. And then they'll be like, just like the ones that you get at Lush, right? I think you could package them with like some plastic packaging and then blow dry. I saw something about a plastic. Oh yeah, like a shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. Yep. Yeah, and then like, like a gift. ribbon. It'd be really, really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, so I think that's that. Yep. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Tomorrow night, hubby time. <laughs> um, tomorrow night we're gonna make homemade soaps. Christmas presents for everybody. Yeah, because this is how you do it, you guys. Make it look all fancy. Like, I got pickles that I made for basically free. It's the best gift. It's the best. It's, yeah. It's, well, then it's homemade. Made with love. And then you can get the kids involved, and then they can gift them, you know? Declan made his here, earlier. Here, those in here. Ready? Yeah. Watch some. Declan, you can Shh. hear the fish. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. Awesome. Um, no, this is not a LuLaRoe top. This is a pregnancy top. <laughs> can we see your oils? Yeah, you can see my oils. Sure. Is this my stash? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, so here's... These are like, um, let Jen lead. Sorry. Huh? Jen lead. You got to take over. You got to let Jen lead. So oh, I'm going to let dancing? you Dancing? 
No, the video. Oh. <laughs> it's on my Facebook page. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> um, she she did it perfect. Look what time her soaps are. We'll probably do soaps like around the same time. We just yeah. got to get Declan to bed and then we'll yes. do them. Um, so these are most of my oils. These are like my blends that I make into rollers. Um, on guard's a good one for on heavy stuff. Really ginger for being insanely pregnant. Roman chamomile and ginger, great yep. combo. Deep blue. Mm -hmm. This is pricey, but it's worth every penny. Yep. Um, passion. Oh, that would be a good bath bomb for Ooh, women. That would. Nice bath bomb for women. Passion. Nice little 50 shades of gray in a yeah. candle. Uh, holiday Joy would be a good one and to make. And you could make the balls blue. Yeah. Just <laughs> kidding. Yes, you could. Peace. I honestly, like, I, I peace is something that I use for my son. Um, it's good bath I use a lot of it, but it, it's a strong smell, so I don't know if you would necessarily want to use that in all of them. Breathe is a really good one. Which I'm almost out of. Use, um, use eucalyptus. Frankincense. I, I got lots more. Um, but that's about it. So, um, Jen, yeah, Jen will check out the comments, mm -hmm. okay? And you want to go into her information group. It's vip.goseegen.com. And all the links will be in the comments before the end of the night. Yep. I think that's that. That was fun. Yeah, so here's our bombs. He's going to love those. They smell so good. He's going to die over these. He's gonna like, die. I almost wish we split them in half because he's going to use them all tomorrow. You can still cut them, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. So, that's that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Now we get to clean up before Sean yells at us. Yeah, we're going to get to cleaning. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Whoop.